Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new Roblox video and enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? Nate here back with another Roblox video. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Jade crown in the Ready Player One event in Phantom Forces. So this crown took me a little bit to do because I kept getting killed over and over, all right? It took me a little bit to actually figure out how to do the DDO puzzle solver. So to begin this Easter egg, you're either gonna wanna be on the highway lot map or the crane map. We're on the highway lot map and I'm showing you where the first vending machine is. It's right here in this building. And as you guys can see, there's like some squares on it and you have to shoot these squares that are white and turn them gray. So that's where the vending machine is on the highway lot map. So here we are on the crane site map. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to get to the vending machine here. We got our beautiful jade key that we just got that took me a while. Well, we got the silver crown and everything, not bronze. We pick up some kills with our key. <laughs> but basically it's right here, guys. This is where the vending machine is. And this is where you will do the Easter egg. And we die. We explode from a frag grenade. So this is how you do it. Honestly, guys, if you haven't already tried this, just a warning, there are going to be people killing you over and over. This is the hot spot right now. Everyone's going for this jade key. Everyone wants jade crown. So right now, guys, best way of doing this is literally run up to it and take a screenshot of the pattern on the vending machine because that's going to help you so much when doing this because the pattern is local, which means whatever the person next to you is shooting and doing to the vending machine, it does not happen on your screen. So take a photo of it somehow. And if you don't take a photo of it, you just got to be really quick and really patient because you're gonna keep on tabbing in and out while you're getting killed and stuff. So in order to solve this, you're gonna to wanna to go to a website called DDO Puzzle Solver, and I will have links this down in the description below. But basically, this is how you do it, guys. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you're on this website is select five by five, because that is the exact pattern on the vending machine, and then click edit. So right now I'm clicking on all the white things and I'm clearing it. So we are matching the gray squares on the vending machine with the white squares on the DDO puzzle solver. So everything that's gray on the vending machine, you're gonna wanna make white on the puzzle solver. So once the gray tiles on the vending machine match with the white tiles on the puzzle, you're gonna wanna hit solve. And every single green square you see on the puzzle board, you will shoot on the vending machine. I take my pistol out and honestly guys, aim down sights when you're doing this. It'll make it so much more accurate. So I go ahead and shoot the first two squares, which matches up perfectly. I die, all right, I die from a frag grenade and it's saved. So if you die, don't worry, run right back to it, continue your progress. And then I shoot that square on the left and the one under that. So I'm like moving left and right, trying not to die. I'm looking at the vending machine to make sure I'm gonna shoot the right square because I don't wanna mess up. And if you actually mess up, shoot the same square you did again and it will like reset what you had before. So I go back and shoot the last two squares and we get the jade key from the vending machine. So the next thing you guys gotta do is head on over to your melee weapons and equip the jade key. After you have the jade key, you gotta go to the dunes map or the suburbia map. I'm gonna show you how to find the door on both of these maps. You're gonna wanna take the key that you have, hold it in your hand. I mean, have your gun out, all right? Because if you don't have your gun out, you're gonna die, all right? You're gonna die. You don't wanna bring that knife to the gunfight out here, all right, guys? So we're running, we're running with our knife out. We know we're not gonna die. Basically, where you're gonna wanna take the key on the dunes map is, we got the BP gas station. So remember the gas station in the dunes map. And basically you're gonna wanna be on the balcony and from the balcony, you'll be able to see the car and the gas station, everything. And from there, you'll know you're in the right spot. And I'm like knifing the door and everything. And that is the exact door. Where you take the key on the suburbia map is there's a blue house with a tree house beside it. All right, I got the key out. I run in here, pick up a kill. We're in this blue room in the blue house with the tree house and everything. We take the key out. We, we smack the door with the key and stuff, you know? It says, you found the gate and the teleporting will commence. So after this point, what happens is it'll take you to a zombies game mode. And this is tough, guys. Honestly, I think they need to lower the difficulty for the copper crown for this. But if you're up for the challenge for the silver crown, go ahead. All right, this took me actually three or four tries to finally get done. All right, we are in. We are in, we did kill some zombies. So yeah, this map's actually a lot bigger than you think. So there's like a lot of areas. If you explore the map, like let's say you're having trouble with it, you can explore the map to try to find areas to boost yourself on top of things. You know, this is actually a pretty good spot. They will spawn near here. I'm gonna show you guys some of the zombie spawns, all right? But yeah, you really use the shotgun, guys, really do. You can. Let's just dominate right now. One zombie left. We're gonna finish this one with a knife, all right? Knife! Knife! That was a big mistake, all right? Okay, so one tip I could say is do not end the round with less than 50 health. Because what's- Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! They found our spot! They found our spot! We might have to find a new one. How about on these stairs? Is this a good spot? 
Is this a good spot? Oh no. Oh no, we have no ammo. That's not a good spot. So yeah, uh, zombies will literally spawn right here. There's some blue squares on the map. Like there's some blue spawn points where you'll see that zombies actually spawn. Another place I like to be is the balcony, but honestly round them all up and just, just spray them guys. The shotgun's really good too, just switching to that. All right, zombies will spawn here too. That's a spawn point. Oh shoot. Shotgun will wreck though. Spawn point there. See if we can find some more. We gotta go through these doors here. There's a spawn point over here, I know that. Obviously they're coming from here. There's gotta be one here, yep, right there. It's not a really good idea to like spawn kill them. It's good to know where the zombies are going to be coming from, you know? So I guess we'll do some map traveling to try to find the other zombies that are left. There's two zombies left, no spawner in here. Oh, I wish we had the jade key here. That makes so much more sense. And also wish we could run through these trees. Don't forget to also double jump on the zombies. This balcony, pretty good place to be. Where you boys spawning? Where you boys, right here, y'all yeah, just spawn kill you. I really gotta walk right back. It's a bad idea because as soon as I look behind me, what's gonna happen is these zombies are just gonna kill me. I just flew over their heads. Oh my gosh. Right, let me reload this. I'm gonna get back here. We're out here with 10 health. We're not doing too good. Oh no. We had no ammo. We had no ammo. Where's the outdoors? Where's the grass? Where's the grass? Why can we fly over the zombies? Is this Mario? Yeah, really utilize the space bar, guys. It's good. It's like all the zombies spawn near me because I was there. I really feel like the zombies spawn wherever you are. So many fallen zombies. This is not a good day for the zombies. Where the heck you guys at? Oh, shoot. We got tracksuit zombies. These are the most OP ones. Two left. This is a barren map when you're looking for the zombies. I'm gonna do the same strategy I did last time. Which was, uh, I forgot, but I'm gonna try to do it again. Oh my. Oh yeah, the jumping. Hey boys, jump on your head, jump on your head. You really use the space bar, guys. I'm telling you, you will win the game as long as you don't take too much damage. Oh my gosh, grenade. I didn't kill one. I looked at my kills. There's still 39. I would do some more jumping parkour, but uh, the problem with that is um, I don't want to die. Woo! You gotta watch your backs. You gotta watch your backs. There's only seven left. Hope I get 100 health. The heck kind of shirt is that? I'm gonna jump off this. Hope I don't take fall damage. I bet there's one over here, like hiding. I knew it. You're really gonna want to utilize the sprint and you're gonna want to run away from the zombies and bunch them up when you can. Get all headshots. Hip firing is actually really helpful as well, but this is tough. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna take you a few tries. This portion of the video, I went all out. I actually failed the previous two attempts. And uh, yeah, once you complete the zombies game mode, again, I'm warning you, it's pretty tough. And do all the steps, you will be awarded the Jade Crown, guys. And here we are at the end of the round, all right? And at the end, we received the badge. We got the Jade Crown. I was super hyped when I got Got this so if this video helped you guys make sure to drop a like if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and tell me what game you guys think the crystal crown is going to be in and your theories on it and if this video helped you guys make sure to subscribe and drop a like for more awesome videos just like this and thank you guys so much for watching and peace out guys